Hey folks, how you doing? It's Richard from Bikepacking Adventures and today, well, it seems to have been a long time coming been resting and recovering from the Pan Celtic a couple of weeks ago now I'm out on the gravel bike So my next ultra coming up this year is next month Paris Brest Paris PBP for short Paris Brest Paris is a 1200km Audax Randonnée across the beautiful French countryside mostly the region of Brittany and in this video I'm going to share three tips that will help you succeed and get a bit of an idea of what you're in for when you reach France next month surprisingly enough the weather is not in my top three of uh, things that you should worry about on Paris Brest Paris my top three tips or kind of questions that you, sh you, know, you need to ask yourself and find answer to uh, are these so let's start with number one um, why are you doing it are you there for the fun and taking the countryside have a bit of explore okay it's an old axi you know what it's like to ride through harsh conditions are you there? have you done it before maybe and you're just looking to ride a bit quicker uh, of course it all depends on what time slot you got in as well you're doing it 80 84 or 90 hours that kind of suggests what sort of rider you are so yeah question number one why are you doing it what are your objectives you need to define those if you're just going to uh, ride it just to finish like most riders do uh, then you know your approach is going to be all all different but nevertheless tip two still applies to you uh, i'm going to tell you what that is i'll have to get back on the bike Okay, going back to my first tip, again, just briefly, finishing. Now, it kind of falls into two categories, really. Finishing, irrespective of time, and finishing within time. So I just wanted to say, you know, if you're going to be doing PVP, you need to go the mindset, as I'm sure many people already know, that you can be there to finish it, and within time. Planning to finish it, out of time is planning to fail basically it's not an all-out fail because for many people it's a big huge challenge and undertaking i've uh, taken part in an ultra before ran out of time uh, i didn't consider it a fail so please don't say that the wrong way but at the start i'd run such as paris Brest paris and he's got there with 100 uh, percent confidence yeah Okay, my second tip for finishing Paris Rest Paris is basically you need to decide in advance how far you are willing to ride. Try and ride as far as you can every day until you've finished it. Even when <laughs> you know you're only travelling at two miles an hour, as long as you're going forward those miles are crunching down. When I did Paris West Paris for the first time in 2019, that's the approach I took. Think of it as three, four hundred. So I rode to Ludiac, I think, was the first stop that year on the way out to Brest. I think it was like 440 kilometers or thereabouts. And on the way back, well, I can't actually remember where I stopped, but it's the same sort of distance. Do have in mind where you're going to sleep at the end of day one and again at the end of day two and possibly at the end of day three. Just take a closer look at sleep times. So I've got Rival GPS open. Just wanted to show you the scatter in terms of when I took breaks and you can see the flat lines where I spent some time with the bike and there's a big stop this is the first stop after 447 kilometers in Ludiac. I stopped for mm, less than three hours. That's three hours inside at the control. Uh, and then coming back again, where the flat lines are, are when I stopped. So as you can see, I took quite a lot of breaks. My idea in 2023 is to try and get that down. So I guess question two, tip two, 
really is, in short, how are you going to uh, break the ride into manageable chunks? Okay, my third and final question stroke tip in this video is, kind of goes hand in hand with the last one really. So when you think of splitting the ride into manageable chunks, most people think, okay, at the end of each chunk, he's talking about sleep. I'm thinking about sleep. But that is not always the case. They don't marry up that way at all in the ultras that I have done. Just because you've reached 400, you're not easily going to find the most perfect hotel, B&B, checkpoint, bus shelter, wall, anything like that. It just doesn't happen like that. So question three is, how are you planning to sleep? Because of course that will have big repercussions on what you carry on your bike. So you need to decide that first. Are you going to sleep outdoors, wherever you can, or are you going to sleep at the controls or on B&B? Kind of, I guess those are kind of the three options really. Or you're just going to sleep in the day, maybe that's a fourth. If you're doing Paris West Paris for the first time, I'd probably recommend sleeping at the controls. Now I'm saying, I'm saying that how, I'm saying that out of hindsight and previous experience because in 2019 that's not what I did. So those were my first three tips in this series of Paris West Paris videos. If you've liked this video do give it the thumbs up, subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the other series of PBP videos coming up and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye bye.